Thank you, Owen J.J. Stono. Doctor, it's good to have you back, man. Uh, I did this show under protest. I mean... I know, I know, and I, I truly appreciate that, given the conditions. I, I've got to come back and, and be teamed up with someone who can actually handle my wit, okay? Anybody who's out there knows that I'm against Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt is a scourge on the internet. Don't mm-hmm. trust him. Watch him twice. Maybe we watch it again. You'll see. Just watch if the episode you, six times. You'll figure it out. If you think Owen's kidding, go back and find his previous uh, uh, appearances. This is a consistent line of, of, of <laughs> argument. I've, I've been trying for better close to like over a decade now, and nobody believes me about Tom Mayer. I feel like one day there's going to be a supervillain documentary, and they're going to be like, <laughs> see, he tried to warn you back in 09, and nobody believed him. We had uh, Darren Kitchen on the show on Friday oh, nice. talking about his van van life living and camper living i'm like a an an old but quirky buick and he's definitely a camaro like he's got like he's got the equipment in there he's got his own shower it's fake but he's got all this green ivy so that you know it kind of tricks his eyes into feeling like he's in nature and cool interesting uh uh uh, trivia for you the furthest most inland port in the united states is the port of katusa which is about 40 minutes outside of tulsa where i currently am which means i have access to a warm water port that by virtue of the Mississippi can get to the Gulf. And hmm. my my brother's ultimate, like, if everything completely hits the fan, we have this horrible old, probably haunted boat uh, that by some miracle still floats and he wants to try to take it to Australia, knowing he will probably die in the process. So you so go maybe, down, you'd go from Tulsa to the Mississippi, down uh-huh. the Mississippi to the Gulf, uh-huh. and then Australia. Exactly. And and I was like, if you can figure out how to tow a camper behind that, mm. like if we got, maybe if we got a bunch of wine corks, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. And I don't know if I've ever said this on a podcast before, uh, that some St. Louis sports team that comes along should be called the arch enemies. <laughs> because? Because of the St. Louis arch. Because Tom makes dad jokes. Oh, arch enemies. Well, well but. But wait, it wait, wait. almost makes it seem like then you'd be the name of your enemies. You could look at it that way, or you could look at it as, you know, we are the nemesis of every team in this league. We are your all your mm-hmm. arch enemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. GDI titles, Dave St. Louis, Square-Eyed Goats. Sounds like a country song. Zoe Brings Bacon, <laughs> The Importance of Branding. And Zoe brings bacon. Are people eating pigeons? Roger wrote a good go. Uh, we went with square eyed goats from Dave St. Lou because it sounds like a satanic comedy. Square eyed goats coming down, partner up. Look at them square eyed goats. <laughs> Look at them square eyed goats. Coming down the hill. <laughs> uh, maybe we should play this instead. <laughs> uh, everyone, please, whether you have square eyed goats or not, have a good day. <laughs>